All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another interesting installment of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. And we have the completed. I don't know what to call this house. Cyan House? Uh, so let's take a quick flyby of said house. It turned out pretty good. Yeah, it's unique. And it's finished. Of course, I had to go back through and um, tweak everything here and there. and Because I just can't leave well enough alone. As the sun is going down. Take a nice little quick tour of the insides. And yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now, what, what would my video be without going through a tree? You'd think by now I would have um, figured that out. Yep. So we, the garage, nothing changed there, but all the interior is done. Come in here, nice foyer. Um. Let's do the upstairs first. There we go. So up here, we have the office area. And I'm really happy with the way that turned out. A lot of spruce, my own spruce wood. This computer desk is awesome. Um, it's just uh, wrought iron table legs with spruce on top. And then these were made with the... Uh... Wow, I can't talk today. The spruce boards, but you do them in such a way with the screwdriver. So let's take the spruce board, lay down a spruce board, take your screwdriver. And when you place it like that, compared to placing uh, a block next to it with a top, you can't put nothing on top of here, but you can over here. So that's how that works. And that's how I pulled off that effect. And in real life, you will see computer desks like that. So it's a big kind of conference table. Give presentations, whatever. Got a, got a file cabinet with a printer. Little credenza. Yeah. That's what that is. Another computers. As you could tell, this person that owns this house is a computer mogul. There's the loft area downstairs. Come over here. We have the master bedroom or bathroom. Which turned out nicely. The uh, running water. This is... Uh, this works. However, I just placed this here just to, for the knobs. And that works. Cool. And that's just an office, a glass office door with the large tabletops. I, I use that a lot lately. And here's the master bedroom. Nice little seating area, some plants, little desk area, all the lights. Well, that was kind of weird. Okay, it's getting darker out, I guess. Uh, experimenting with some foliage. Got storage, of course. Oh, <laughs> look. The, the lighting updated itself. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of cool because you turn off all the lights in this area, it gets real dark. And more views of the downstairs, which we're going to now... On the main floor. So you come in here. And what sitting area would not be complete without bees? You guys are in the... You guys need to leave. Okay. Yeah. They will sting you. So it's, it's just a formal seating area. Squirrel. <laughs> I just updated the couches. Changed the flooring. Come out here. We have another seating area. 
uh, less formal. Yeah, this is a formal. There's a less formal, right? Uh, the fireplace. I'm not, I'm happy with it, but I might change the design of it. And unfortunately, the only thing non clay related is this chimney. So I could replace that with the with the the cyan blocks, but it looks good. It looks all right. Then we got this massive chandelier which turned out really, really cool. All using different shades of cyan uh, panes. And the signature kitchen table. Come through here. The kitchen area turned out really, really cool. I didn't get to use the steel supports. However, the way that turned out, it kind of, it's like a, uh, you know, a house with it, or a, a room within a room. So you got seating, Along here, big, nice kitchen, and nice little sort of chandelier light hanging there. And to solve my problem with this glass and the extractor hood, I put in a downward <laughs> extracting oven. Yes, it's a real thing. However, I could not get this to line up the way I wanted to, and I didn't want the, I, I didn't want the stove next to the sink, so there's some compromises were made, and the extractor fan was left out, you could, you could just imagine that it's a, um, a downward draft grill top, so I, I, I like the way that turned out, even though I didn't get to use my um, steel supports go in the garage. The garage was cleaned up, removed, removed the shelving. It just looked too busy. Nice little storage area. Toolbox, place to wash up. Yeah, that turned out really, really cool. And then, uh, that's driving me crazy now. Here's where all my cats are going. Cats turn into string when they despawn. Gotta love it. So we come out here. Nice deck. Chairs. Big, huge old deck. Overlooking. Yes, I put in a pool. And I'll explain that in a second. So. <laughs> it It's really, it really turned out nice. In here, obviously, we, you know, the bathroom, storage. Come over here, changed all the flooring, go down to the basement. Here is a hot tub. Chill out in the hot tub, watch TV. First bedroom, all finished. Nice plants. Some furniture, real cool dresser with a mirror. Storage, obviously, and then the the bath, the full bathroom turned out really, really cool. Go into the second bedroom; it's a shared bathroom, no big deal. Lots, of, you know, you get tired of building bathrooms. <laughs> and this room, it's a little gray, but I think it works. It's got just enough glitchy color in it. There we go, and. Neat wall art, custom-made planters all around. Those are just uh, um, four soil, and I sided them with concrete. Turned out really cool. Got other planters out here. Got a nice little area with fishies. A little koi pond. I don't know. I'm really, I really like bringing the outdoors in. I think if, if, if uh, it's always been my dream to have like a huge great room with a corner of it, just like a, a jungle scene with a little waterfall and stuff, get in that water. The fish want to keep jumping out. I don't know why they're doing it, but that turned out nice. Here's a media center over here, chill out. And then here's the gaming room and we have for land parties and, and whatnot. It's fully decked out. 
Oh, yeah. And then a bathroom, full bathroom. And utility room. Nice little uh, storage. Sink, washer, dryer. Because every house needs that. Cordoned off. Yeah. So that, that turned out really cool. And, you know, there's only so much things that you could put in the spaces like this. I mean, you could put a bar, but I'm not into that. You could put a library. Well, okay. Put a little library. You could put seating area in here. How many seating areas can a house have? I, okay. I have seating areas over here, but that's just the, the those are just chill out seating. And so I got unique with the, um, the little forest area here. So we come out here, we have an infinity pool, my first attempt at an infinity pool. And it, so it's supposed to give you the, the idea that if you're swimming, it's like you're gonna go over the edge. Yeah. So now one of the comments um, that, ooh, I'm changing, I can't, I looked at the code for poison ivy, so if I, if I remove that part of the mod for Poison Ivy, then everywhere is going to pop up these unknown characters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the grass, um, the, uh, the grass pictures, and I'm going to change out the grass pictures for Poison Ivy. There's three stages of Poison Ivy. And think yeah there's three stages so we have the climbing uh the climbing i don't mind too much but the uh the seedling and the um the sprouting those are going to become grass so it'll sprout grass <laughs> so there <laughs> that's how i'm going to solve that problem so the pool comes down that is such a, a, a cool view and it said why don't you know a walkway down to like a beach well, there's a little problem with that. This house sits on the edge of the frozen biome. As you can see, there's the uh, castle over there. Hey, my sharks are back. Hey, sharky. Yeah. Oh, look at the castle. And as you can see, um, it's a frozen wasteland. There's no beach. So if you want to ice skate... Hey, there you go. Wow, that just kind of naturally did that. And that's water down there. Huh. So that kind of that kind of um ruins that idea about taking a um making stairs going down to a beach. I'm not sure now what I did up here because this was all ice. And what I did up here was um I just put grass in but if you just do dirt the snow will actually creep in so i so i did grass and it, it stayed away so that kind of rules out that so i went against you know not every house needs a pool and <laughs> i put a pool in and um and a hot tub so uh, apparently every house does need a pool and does need a hot tub you could just chill out in the hot tub, watch some watch some uh, movies. Yeah, there you have it. So that's the downstairs. Um, again, really, really happy on how all this turned out. Just doing custom little furniture ideas and tricks. That is, I love those chandeliers. Any chance I get to use that? So. That is the completed, I guess what I'm going to call it the cyan house. And yeah. And then on Halloween, we put the little eyeballs in. Maybe put some rabbit ears. It'll work. Yeah. So other than that, um, just been a little busy. More poison ivy. I, I'm, I hate that. It, it shouldn't pop up that, that much. Wow, where'd that come from? Huh. So, 
this this area yes i see the house this area is coming along really really nicely oh i saved that you got bees everywhere and this got to do something right in here is going to be grass as it edges into the desert and yeah so we got we have the concrete house we have the glass house cyan house and this house which is a preview of what's coming up is going to be the stone house and what this is is a very loosely based uh it's inspired by a house um from a youtuber called smithers boss and it's very very loosely based on his house i just i loved this window design so i used it we'll go take a look at here this is just for progress come in here and i use this area here and that's where it ended because off here there's going to be there will be a hot tub and decking um i really like this is kind of an industrial like a an old industrial building converted and it's got a raised roof with skylights all the way around so it goes from black stained glass for privacy to clear glass yeah i like that so Here's going to be a closet, bathroom. Up here will be the kitchen, a kitchen and a uh, like a dining area. And then down here will be some more possible walls. Nice fireplace, sitting area. And then in here is the garage and little workshop. Over here is going to be uh, stairways leading down to the basement, which will have two bedrooms and a um, possibly a little area, like a common area for a media room. And then over here is a hallway, and here's the master bedroom and master bathroom. Small side. I might extend this wall out one and move everything out one just to give an extra um, area. But then again, it'll fit a bed perfectly. So I don't know. I, I have to play with it. And then down here all the way at the end is going to be like an office. Office studio. Overlooking the great views. Yep. The main focus of this house is not the actual house, as weird as that sounds. It's going to be this back area. So this back area is going to be really, really decked out in terms of um, landscaping. So all my houses, they, they just, they sort of lack um, the landscaping is decent, but this is the house that's going to take it to the next level. So there's going to be, there's going to be a pool back here. There's going to be walkways, paths, some more trees. Um, I'm still not done with this wall here and, um, maybe a pond, uh, different elevation changes, some, you know, garden walls. Hi, Mr. Moo Cow. Yeah. That is, that it's either going to turn out completely fantastic or it's going to turn out fantastic. I'm going to make it fantastic. I was also toying with the idea, but the castle sits, the entrance of the castle sits on the other side of a bridge. An old stone type bridge going to that island over there. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that one. That's an awful long distance. Yes, it is. 
Mr. Moo Cow. More bees. What do you want? Ooh, that hurt. So, that's what I've been up to. And it's really strange because, um, what is that? Strawberries. They won't let me eat them. Go away. We didn't, we didn't see that. Whoops. I don't, I hate how that does that. That is so weird. Whoop. There we go. Don't want to kill the tree, but I want to save them. So yeah, it, it's going to, um, turn out really nicely this area because I'm going to continue to build downward and I'm liking that the, the front there's going to be um, there's going to be flower planters all along the front and shrubbery and stuff like that to, to make it to make it really stand out it does look a little tall but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I like how, I like how that, um, the overall look of it. And you can, you can imagine old industrial buildings being turned into lofts and general, uh, housing. So once I get the, once I get the, uh, elevation done and the landscaping done on the front, that's really going to look cool go from there so that's what is in the works right now as i continue up the road to where the um what do you call it oh the oasis house is and this house here is done and i'm really really happy like i said how how this house turned out and it there was a lot of times where, because of that, the angles of the roofs, I was, you know, hemming and hawing about removing it, but after all was said and done and all was finished, it, it actually, it looks really, really cool. So, on that note, there you have it. Just a nice, uh, clean looking modern house to suit everyone's needs. So let's see if the, if the lighting, because I'm lagging real big. I don't know. I always reboot and, you know, turn everything off. See, that that is so cool looking. So you can just imagine you know, waking up in that every day. Yeah. So that's it. Um, hopefully everybody's having a fantastic day. Take one more quick little overview of the downstairs area. I still, I still think lofts are a waste of space, but in this instance, if it's really done right, imagine having the dust to all this. You got to be like an acrobatic. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to, to go onto the ledge over there, but I'm happy with it. It's done. I'm, I'm not going to tweak it anymore. Um, there's a few places where the glass isn't doing what I want it to do. And it ends up, you know, connecting to whatever's sitting next to it. I'm going to point it out like right here even though you, you can't really see it, but I know it's there. Yeah. All right. So we're going to leave it right here. Yeah. That's why there's a hot tub. Turn on TV, kick back. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing. We just hit 100 subscribers and it, it is 
a, it was a great feeling when I saw that. Now I'm only 57,258,500 away from PewDiePie. Yeah. <laughs> Making 100, um, I never thought I would get to this far. I never thought I'd get to 50 when I made 50. But um, other mind test channels, you might see five, 600, you know, 700. So that's the next goal is to keep producing great content. And uh, so one of the things is let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see tutorials? Do you want to see uh, mod reviews? Um, keep doing what I'm doing. Go from there. A mixture of all of the above. Some more wacky houses, contemporary, modern. Uh, I, I tend to gravitate towards modern, as you see. But I do want to do a traditional um, house with a bunch of roofs, peaked roofs and stuff like that, like a suburban house. And I saw a really cool, not a Mediterranean-style house, but like a Spanish villa, which I really liked the shape and layout of it. When I want to give that a try. So uh, I want to expand my building and interior. The interiors take, believe it or not, the interiors take the longest to do. You can do the shell of the house, um, the house across the street. I did that in about four and a half hours, but it took me almost eight hours to furnish this house because there's only so much you can do with wool. And to get the proportions right on tables and on, you know, different, um, just different things to get them to sit the way that you want, <laughs> there's a lot of trial and error, like these little parts underneath here. You, I kind of wish they were a little, a little smaller. And then the overhangs, you know, just to, just to make things fit that much more, just makes it that much more challenging. So won't keep you any longer. Um, the, the, uh, the stone house is going to be next and hopefully I will have a finished video in the next day or two of that and, uh, go from there. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope everybody's having a fantastic day and goodbye.